OK, in this video, uh, we've got a dart that's thrown horizontally towards a dartboard with speed 18 metres per second. It hits the dartboard 5 centimetres vertically below the level at which it is thrown. OK, so let's draw out a diagram to go with this. So we can visualise what's going on. So the dart uh, is thrown horizontally okay, at a speed of 18 metres per second. OK, now the dart won't go horizontally for very long because it's going to come down, OK, uh, because of gravity. It's going to hit the dartboard, OK, and that's five centimetres, OK. But we're really working in metres here, so we're going to want to convert that to metres. So that's 0 0.05 metres, OK. So that's, that's our situation. Right. Find the time the dart is in the air. OK, so let's start building up our equations then. So we've got uh, acceleration is 0 in the horizontal direction and then minus 9.8 in the vertical direction. Integrating to get to the velocity. Now, the initial velocity for the x direction is just going to be 18, OK? Um, 18 cos of 0, cos 0 is just 1, so 18. So we've got 18i, as we can see, because that initial uh, horizontal um, motion here, OK, for the uh, velocity, initial velocity. And then integrating here, we're going to add in the uh, initial condition, which, well, will be 18 sine 0, which is just 0. So really, we've just got minus 9.8 t j. OK. Then the displacement. Now, the horizontal displacement, we're going to start at 0 here. So that would be 18 t i. And then the vertical displacement, well, we don't know how actually high um, we're starting from here, OK? Um, but that doesn't really matter, OK? Because we could just be starting at 0, 0 and still just throwing the... Because um, we're imagining like the floor isn't there, OK? But we could throw it from 0, 0 and we'd still be looking at it dropping 5 centimetres down, OK? So you could... Uh, so we couldn't just ignore it here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to integrate this guy and we're going to get minus 4.9 t squared j and they are my equations, okay, quite basic and straightforward for this one. Right, so find the time the dart is in the air. So what I want is for it to drop 0 0.05 metres, okay, so I want the vertical component of the displacement to be minus 0.05. So I would put minus 0.05 equal to the minus 4.9t squared. So if I divide both sides by the minus 4.9, so 0.05 divided by 4.9, and I get 1 over 98 is t squared. Right, then I'm going to square root that. Now I actually get root 2 over 14, which is 0 0.1010 to four decimal places, OK? Um, now, I would also get a negative result because I'm square rooting, um, but clearly t cannot be equal to negative 0 0.1010 uh, because time can't be negative, OK? It's unphysical. So to four decimal places, it would be 0 0.1010 seconds. Uh, to two significant figures, 0 0.10. OK, so 0 0.10 seconds to two sig fig. OK. Right. So let's crack on with B. So what's B asking? Now, B is asking, find the horizontal distance from the point that dart is released to the dartboard. OK, so that is the horizontal displacement. I now know what t is, because I worked that out in part A. That's how long it takes to actually get there. So 
the horizontal displacement is just um, 18 times t, so 18 times the 0 0.10, etc. Okay, so I can multiply what I've still got in my calculator by 18. We get 9 root 2 over 7, which is 1.8 metres to two significant figures. Okay, so the dart is thrown, well, the dartboard is 1.8 metres away from where it's thrown originally.